Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'd like to welcome you to my new podcast titled The Love Spark Podcast. Now, in this podcast, I'm going to be discussing a bunch of just relationship stuff. I'm going to have different people come on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit. It's going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about just everything that y'all need to know about relationships, uh, dealing with a man, how not to be played, manipulated, the, the red signs to look out for, everything. You're going to find out everything. You're going to hear different, you know, perspectives. It's just going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have different guests on there. Of course, it's going to be me on there. So just get ready for that. So this is the first episode, right? So number one episode of the Love Spark podcast. This topic is titled, Are Single Mothers Less Desirable in the Dating Pool? So are single mothers less desirable, you know, in, in the dating scene? Like, you know, if you are if you are a woman that has a child, are you, you know, less desirable or does that market you less, quote unquote, in the dating scene that you have the fact that you have a child it does that does that make it like you know hard for you to find or does that hinder your your dating experience right okay so this is what i'm gonna say ladies this is what i'm gonna say so i recently got this message uh well this topic from one of my clients and one of my clients, they asked me because they are a single mother and they asked me, they said, Sydney, you know, I'm having a hard time, you know, dating right now. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's all this, you know, in the, uh, in the media right now, you know, talking about, you know, single mothers and this and that, and, you know, and, and then women over 30, that's another story. And, and just, it's just, it, it seems like right now it's an attack on women. You know, it seems like when it comes to like, you know, like, oh, you know, now it's like, oh, men got their standards and da, 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 and then you have to meet up to, you know, it's that's a whole different story, you know, talking about the high value men. That's a whole nother story. So, so it's a whole little thing going on right now. And one of those things is like single mothers are talking about single mothers, right? So one of my clients came to me, they said, Sydney, you know, I'm a single mother, you know, it's hard for me to date. So, so she asked me this question. She said, are single mothers less desirable in the dating pool? So this is what I'm going to say about that, ladies. This is exactly what I'm going to say when it comes to single mothers and dating in the dating scene, right? Okay, so first of all, no. <laughs> you do not, uh, you are not less valued because you have a child. Point blank, period. You are not less valued. Now, when I say you're not less valued, that 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 depends, that's, that's you. You know, you you as a person... You're the same person. You just have a child. You're not less value. Now, the now the value part that you you as a person, you're not less valuable. Value is in the eyes of the beholder. Just like beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but value is also in the eyes of the beholder too because people place value on things that they deem as valuable. So, it depends on the man. But this is what I'm going to say to you ladies. I'm going to say no. You know you are not less desirable in the dating pool because if a man truly wants you and truly wants to be with you, he would accept you and everything that comes with you. I'm going to say that again. If a man truly loves you and wants to be with you, he will accept you and everything that comes with you. So you are not less valuable. He's still going to value you because he wants to be with you regardless of, you know, what you come with. You know, everything that, everything that comes with you he wants to be a part of it because he loves you. Now, when it comes to other men that, you know, and this comes out to preference, right? You're only, quote unquote, less valuable to those men who deem single mothers as, you know, uh, maybe something they're not ready for or, you know, just, just something that, that, just, that, that just doesn't resonate within their lifestyle, you know? And that's okay because those are men that you do not want anyways because if they don't want you, why would you want them? That's okay. You know, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You're not going to be everybody's, you know? And it just doesn't even depend on just your you you just having a kid, you know, just that you know that might be a factor, but you know, people have preferences on everything, you know. People like some people like tall people, some people like short people, some people like, you know, you know, built people, some people like thick people, some people like skinny people, some people like this, people, people you know, it's it's all different types of some people like light skin, some people like dark skin, some people like this, some people like that. Whatever your preference is, you know, this is another preference, right? Do, do 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 as a man do i want a woman with kids do i not want a woman with kids you know that's a preference right so 
in general, you are not less valuable. Just those men may not be the right one for you, or maybe, or maybe in their eyes, you might be not might not be right for them, and that's okay. That's that is okay. If a man looks at you and says, "Oh, you know, you're a single mother. I just can't do it." Da, 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 that's fine. He's not the one for you. You don't need a man around you that cannot handle that type of commitment to a woman or, you know, responsibility factor to a woman, you know, because if you, if you are dealing with a single mother, you're going to have to, you know, accept everything that comes with her, you know, she's a package deal. A woman that is a single mother is a package deal. So, you know, you're not less valuable, you know, it's just those men that, that, that deem you as less valuable, they wasn't right for you anyways, because, because apparently whatever, whatever wave they're on in their life is different from your wave in life, you know? So that's okay. You know, not everybody's going to like you. That's okay. Not everybody's going to accept you. That's okay. And like I said before, it doesn't have to even just be about you just being, a, you just having a child, you know, some people, you might be tall. Some people like sh short people. You may be short. Some people like tall people. You may be thick. Some people like skinny people, you know? So it, it's all like that. You know, it's, 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 it just depends on where that man is at in life. I'm going to tell you this. It's plenty before anybody comes on here and tells you, oh, you know, oh, single mothers this, single mothers that, single mothers, you know, da, 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 you know, your value goes down in the dating pool and, you know, nobody's going to ever want you. Da, 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 da. Like, I, I don't believe nothing. Like, I've heard these crazy things. Like, no, no, my bro, I'm going to tell you this. If a man wants to be with you, he's going to be with you. There are plenty of men that will love 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 to have a child one day and can't it's plenty of men that that maybe they want a big family maybe they don't mind a a a, 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 ch a child you know outside of him maybe he wants to be a stepfather you don't know what's going on in this man's life it's plenty of men he might not even like i said he might not even be able to have kids and maybe you might your child might be the blessing that he's looking for and maybe he wants that role as a father but he has nobody to be that role for so maybe when you come to the picture with your child maybe it's like that gives him his 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 chance to you know be that father figure you know so you don't know what type of man you know is looking for a woman just like you your your situation with your child might be perfect perfect for this man because there's plenty of men so i don't want any woman to like give up hope or like feel like oh you know oh, i have this child now you know and and now it's going to be hard for me to date because a lot of men, you know, you may hear this, this stereotype of a lot of men not wanting, you know, women with, with, with children, single mothers with children. And, da, 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 you know, that, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Yes, there are a lot of men that may decline on single mothers because that's not what they're ready for or that's not maybe what they want in their preference. Right. That's cool. But it's plenty of men that will love you and everything that comes with you. Everything, everything, everything. Because he loves you for you. And he he sees that your child is an extension of you. So that's just what I'm going to say. So to answer that question of are single mothers less desirable in the dating pool, I'm going to say no. No, they're not less desirable because you as a person, you didn't change. The only thing is, you, okay, you got a child, okay? Okay, but guess what? The value part comes from the the men and their preference. So you didn't become less valuable. It just depends on the man who deems value in you know their preference when it comes to specifically single mothers. So if that man says, you know, oh, Oh, I'm good on single mothers. I'm okay. I'm not ready for that. You know, maybe he doesn't have children and he and he and he just wants a woman that doesn't have children. Okay, that's his preference. Maybe to that man, you know, you might not be the right one for him. That doesn't make you less valuable or that doesn't make you any less of a woman. That just means that he was not right for you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe to him, if you ask that guy, maybe he might say, "Oh, yeah, her value went down." To him, because his value, he because that's how he viewed value in you. And that's subjective to him. That's what he thinks. Now, another man might say, oh, that woman is very valuable. 
She can do a lot of things. She's a mother. She shows me these qualities. Like, this is what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? She has a child. I can't have children. This is what I'm looking for. Maybe, maybe, um... You know, maybe he wanted to always be a father figure. You know, maybe he always wanted to have a big family. You know, maybe maybe that's perfect. Maybe he doesn't even mind children. Maybe he's good with kids. Maybe he loves kids. You don't know. And that man might deem you as the most valuable. So value comes from the man's preference. Ultimately, you know, where he deems as valuable in a woman. But... You as a woman, your value did not decrease or increase or it's the, it, your value is the same. <laughs> your value can only increase based on how you carry yourself as a woman and what you do and stuff like that. But overall, you were the same. You're the same. You know, a lot. I mean, yes, you know, a child does play, you know, you know, a factor in your life. You know, yes, you know, blah, blah, blah. But as far as value goes, like I say, value is in the eyes of the beholder. Man, people view, people put value on things. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about value, what can you say? Okay, I got a water bottle right here. Okay, they, they may say, oh, this water bottle is valued at, at a dollar, right? Somebody else might look at this water bottle and say, oh, you know, this water bottle, you know, I ain't never had no water like this. You know what? Dang, I want to pay $1,000 for this water bottle. And you're like, what? What? That's because that person deemed this water bottle as valuable. You, they put value on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything that we, everything that we have around us is just stuff. You know what I'm saying? You people put value on stuff based on where they place it. You know, based on you know the qualities and, and just what it can do for them. You know where they place value it. So value is in the eyes of the beholder. You know, one person might say, you know, you're this. Another person might say, oh, you're worth this. You know what I'm saying? So hey, like I say. So, going back to this, okay, this is my second part of this. So, I'm going to answer uh, another question uh, dealing with this. So, my other question was, uh, should men that do not have kids date women that do not have kids? Or vice versa. Should women that don't have kids date men that don't have kids? And should women that do have kids date men that do have kids? So, it's like, should, should, those, should those parallels be, you know equal to each other like what like, like how should it be or should it be mismatched like you know so i'm gonna say it like this you know okay there are a lot of there are a lot of men that may prefer a woman without kids if he does not have kids okay again there are men that do not have kids that may want a woman that has kids because maybe he can't have kids or whatever the reason blah, 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 right so it can work either way it depends on the man's preference and what he's looking for and what he's ready for in a woman right now there are men that have children and maybe some men that have children his preference might still be a woman that may not have children for whatever reason maybe that's his preference maybe he's like okay i got one one is enough i don't want any more you know this whatever he's at in his life you know maybe that's what he wants okay and, and that's fine because he's not the one for you. And, and in that same breath, that man that does not, that, I mean, that the man that does have kids, that man that does have kids, he might look at the woman that does have kids and be like, look, we can, we can put our, put our families together and we can be a big, happy family. You know what I'm saying? So you, so it can go either way. A man without kids can go for a woman with kids or without kids and a man you know, with or without kids can go for a woman with or without kids. Either way, you know what I'm saying? It can match and match. It doesn't matter. It depends on the person individually and what they're looking for. So I wouldn't just limit yourself to just, oh, you know, I'm a single mother and now I'm looking for a man that 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 has kids so he can understand. Yes, he might be able to, uh, maybe maybe he understands, but that doesn't mean that you know he's the right one for you because there are plenty of men that may not have children that may look for you like you're perfect. So you know what I'm saying. So I wouldn't just limit yourself on that. I would I would be open to men that do have kids and men that don't have kids. You know, and vice versa. If you're a man with kids, you know, hey, be open because that you know it might be a woman that 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 doesn't have kids and, you know, or does have kids and it might be the perfect one for you either or. So you just never know. So, you know, it just all depends on preference, what you're ready for. And quite frankly, you know, 
my message to the single mothers are don't get discouraged. This is what this is what I'm gonna tell any single mother right now. If you are a single mother right now, do not get discouraged in the dating scene right now. I know that it's a lot of men. You hear a lot of men saying, oh, single mothers, this, 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 blah, 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 blah. I don't want to take care of another man's child, blah, blah, blah. It's a responsibility. I can't say it. all this stuff or, or, you know, they just look at it like it's just not a good deal. But look, check this out. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. That man, that man is entitled to whatever he wants. Whatever he wants, whatever his preference is, he's entitled to it. Just like whatever preference you want, you're entitled to it. If he does not want you for whatever reason, whatever reason, even if it's not even about having a child, maybe, maybe he likes, maybe he likes short women and maybe you're taller than him. Maybe he likes, maybe he likes tall women and you're shorter than him. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you don't even have to be. So, so, it's, so in that same breath, if you look at it like that, you know, it's just a preference. Like you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea is what I'm saying. Some people like this. Some people like that. Some people like this. Some people like that. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, no matter how beautiful you are, no matter how is a man, even no matter how handsome you are as a man, no matter how beautiful you are as a woman, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody's going to deem you as quote unquote valuable or whatever because that's not because that's not their preference you know what i'm saying and that's okay because you don't want nobody that don't want you you don't want nobody that is not, that don't want to be there that doesn't want to be around that cannot handle the 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 i don't even want to say responsibility but kind of you know or or don't even want to take that step into being you know in that situation of uh you know taking on that role as a stepfather or what have you, or just being in that situation in general, you know, uh, dealing with a single mother, you know? So, so if that man can accept you for what, for who you are and everything that you come with and know that you are a package deal, that's okay. Because he, you don't need him in the first place. That's a man that you don't need no way. Don't worry about the men that don't want you worry about the men that, that are open to you that would love to have It's so many men out here, like, don't, do not get discouraged. It's so many men out here that would love to have a single mother as their, as their wife, as whatever, because they, they maybe they not, might not be able to have kids. Maybe they never could have kids. Maybe they always wanted to be a father figure. Maybe they see like, oh, you know, I want to be in this child's life or you, you just never know where that man is. Maybe he wants a big family. You don't know. So I wouldn't just close it, close off all those doors like, oh, I'm only going to date men with kids because all the men without kids, they just don't know, they don't understand or they don't really want me or something. That's not true. There, yes, there are a lot of men that may not have kids and maybe their preference is a woman without kids. Okay, but guess what? On the other hand, it's a, it's a whole lot of other men that would love to have a woman like you. Would love to have it. Would love to have everything that comes with you, and, and, they, and they maybe they're good with kids. He might love kids. He might be good with kids. Da, 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 da. So it's all in the eyes of the beholder. So you know. So basically, and then, and then this is the last segment that I'm gonna say in this uh, in my podcast right now, right? So dealing with single mothers. So uh, somebody asked me, okay, what are some of the things that men say are pros and cons to dealing with a single mother? What do men say about single mothers? What are some of the pros and cons that men say about dating single mothers? Okay, so I'm run through some of the pros, right, that I've heard from men, uh, you know, specifically, right? So one thing is, number one, one of the pros that you see is uh, you get to see how she is as a mother figure, right? So, you know, you as a man, you know, maybe you want kids and this is your first glimpse, your first chance to see what, 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 what a woman is like, you know, her specifically, the woman that you want, you know, uh, how she is as a mother, because, you know, maybe, maybe if you don't have kids, you know, you might be dealing with a woman that, may that maybe she don't have kids you don't know what she is like you know as a mother you know what i'm saying but the woman with kids you can tell like dang like she a good mother like she do everything for her child like so i know that if i have a child a child with her then that means that 
our child will have a great mother because I see firsthand how she is. So that's one thing that I hear a lot of men say is that they get to see how she is as a mother. Her, how she takes care of, the, of her of her child and, you know, just how she just, you know, just maneuvers through life. You know what I'm saying? Balancing everything out and how great she is just as a parent in general, right? So that's the first pro. The second pro is, uh, like I said earlier, uh, like the responsibility and balance part of it. So just like learning how to just, oh, you know, I got to go to work. I still have my child. You know, uh, you know, I got to feed my child. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to make sure my child good. You know, you see all these things and you like, dang, you are a great mother. Like, cool, you know. And then the third thing is... Uh, that man, you know, being a father figure to that child. So, like I said, you know, a lot of men, they say that it's, it's, a, it's really fulfilling. You know, just being in a child's life that may not have had a child, a child, uh, I mean, a, a father figure. You know, that child didn't have a father figure in their life. So, you know, you get to step up and you get to be that role model for that child, you know. And so that child doesn't grow up you know, without, without both parents in the household, like maybe that man wants to be that, that guy to, you know, kind of come into this child's life and, and help raise him, you know, man, like I said, maybe he couldn't have children. Maybe he wants children. Maybe, maybe he wants even more children. Maybe he wants a whole family, a big family. So, you know, it could be fulfilling for him. It just depends on what he's looking for. So those are some of the pros, right? So we're going to move over to the cons. So three cons that uh, a lot of men say, uh, about dealing with single mothers is uh, they might not be as available or as flexible, right? So, you know, because you have a child, a lot of times um, you can't just, oh, drop everything and let's go on a trip somewhere or let's drop everything and let's do this because, you know, you might have responsibilities. You got to, you got to plan shit out. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, oh, you know, I'm going to just drop my child off somewhere and then we can go on a trip to wherever you know you got to plan stuff out you got you got to make sure the people in line is going to take care of your kid is good and you know what i'm saying you got you know so so it might it might be a little more uh configuration and accommodation with your life you know you might have to adjust a few things when you're a parent versus maybe the woman without kids that could just get up and go and go somewhere you know because uh you know because of her responsibilities you know are different from yours you know so that's that's one that's one factor that some men say that you know a lot of a lot of single mothers may not be as flexible or as available or as available you know so number 2 another quote unquote con that men that a lot of men say about dealing with single mothers is or a reason why they, they won't date single mothers is because maybe he might want to start his own family, you know, exclusively. You know, maybe maybe he maybe he does not want, want that quote unquote responsibility, you know, even though, you know, whatever, you know, people, you know, you're gonna say what you want about responsibility the responsibility word, but you know, yeah. So but uh, he might want to start his own family. You know, he might want to want, want to branch off and, you know, have his own. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. You know, that's what he wants. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know that he, if he, you know, but, but that's just one thing. You know, he might want to start his own family. So, whatever. You know, and then number three, number three is he might not be ready for that responsibility as, as a stepfather or that role as a father figure. Right. So some men, you know, if if you go, if you're going to be into this, this, this woman's life that has this child, um, you're going to have to, it's a lot of times as a man, you're going to have to emulate what a man is, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're around this woman, those children are looking at you also. And if you're around a lot and you're dealing with a single woman and you're around a lot, you know, you have to understand those those children are gonna look at you like you're like like some type of father figure role model. Eventually, you know, depending on how serious you and the and the um and the and the mother gets, you know, you're you're going, you know, it depending on how how close you guys get, you know, you're going to you're going to be that 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 role model in their life, essentially, right? So you so those kids are gonna look at you like, you know, like what like, what you doing, like, you know, like like you know, so some men might not even be ready for that. Some men like, I, I don't want to be no stepfather. I can't have no kids looking at me like no type of way. Or I don't want that responsibility of, you know, me having to financially provide, even though the woman, you know, 
could probably financially provide our own anyways, but you know, still how a man thinks is dang, you know, I might have to come into this situation and you know, I'm gonna have to put something in this, you know, I can't just expect just to, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna do something, you know, even if it's not required, you know, still, you know, as, you know, as a man being provider, he's already, in his mind, he thinks that he's expected to take care of or help take care of the child, even if necessarily the woman says, you know, I'm good on my own. I don't need you. I don't need you to do nothing for me, which I've heard that, you know, plenty of times, you know, and there's plenty of women that are doing just fine without the man, you know, but at the same time, you know, the man coming in, he's like, well, if I'm going to be in this, you know, I I'm going to contribute naturally something. So, you know, he, he might not be ready for that responsibility overall. So he, he might, he, it just not, might not be right for him. He, he might not be in that headspace where I'm ready to, you know, be that role model or to even be around that because you know i you know maybe it's just easier on him you know and maybe in his life so who knows who knows who knows you know but once again it comes down to preference what you like what you don't like blah 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 right so it just depends so you can't always just go off of oh you know a single mother is less desirable in the dating pool no you know she's not less desirable she's 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 not any less of a woman, she's not any less great than what she already is or has been. The only difference is that the value is placed on the man and what he values and where he is in his current life. He places value on the woman and, and, and what he wants, and that comes down to preference. But you, you're you're not no, you're not any less of a woman, any less valuable as a woman, as a mother, as a single mother. You're not any less valuable. It just depends on the man and his preference. And if a man says, I don't want to date single mothers, cool. 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 You can't, you that's that's what he wants. You can't you can't get mad. You can't get upset. You can't you can't be like, oh dude. no. That's okay. Because in that same breath, like I said before, it comes down to preference. Some some men, some men might you might be a like I said, you might be a tall woman. Some men might say, "Oh no, I want me a short girl." Are you gonna get mad that all oh, all men want all men want the short girls and I'm a tall girl? No, because guess what? A man gonna love your tall self. You know what I'm saying? A man gonna love you and all your height. It's gonna be a man out there that that loves tall women. It's all subjective. Just like you as a woman, you might look at a man and say, "Oh, I don't like men that are that have." Uh, a beer belly, right? I, I don't like men that have a beer belly. I want a man with a six pack, right? That's your preference. So all those men that have a beer belly, you know, what you supposed? You know, you can't cry because a woman says, "Oh, I don't like men with beer bellies." You know, you know if you know if it's that if it, you know if it's that serious to you, you know it's, it's going to be another woman that that likes a beer belly. It's going to be another woman that wants to rub on that beer belly. You know what I'm saying? So everything is subjective. It's, for for every it's a it's a lid for every pot you know it's a lid for every pot it's somebody for everybody right so it does not matter what some people or a couple people or a lot of people think about you because guess what it's somebody a couple people and a lot more people that's that that feel the opposite that still want to be with you so you know it comes down to preference so you always gonna have somebody that might not like you and everything that comes with you, and you gonna like you gonna have people that like you and everything that come with you. So that's what it comes down to. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Love Spark Podcast. And follow me Instagram, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll be on Clubhouse, all that. You know, I'll be I'll be everywhere. I'll be everywhere. Just Sid for real everywhere. I'm on the I'm on my website SidForReal.com. You know, book a session with me if you want relationship advice, one on one. Um, everything. Hey, I'm here. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video and to the next video.